of big news. Really big. Turns out the Big Mac isn't actually that big. Unlike the really big Carl, which is... Oh, juicy. Hey, we're live. It's just you and me, baby. I'm uncomfortable. Bite into a really big burger. The really big Carl. Only Junior. Your chance to see Miranda Lambert live in Las Vegas. Watch for the code word to win tickets and a luxury hotel stay. Monday at 6 a.m. Now at 9, an overdose emergency in one SoCal community. Several people rushed to the hospital, but at least one of them didn't make it. Plus, bandits busted. Nearly 20 suspects behind bars this morning for a string of heists across Southern California, stealing tens of thousands in loot. What all the crooks have in common. And good morning. Coming up in entertainment, animator Momo Wang live right here in studio to discuss her new animated short, Getting Oscar Buzz. What advice the international artist has for those interested in the popular form of entertainment. Casey, how's the weather? Well, it's cooler today and we could see some rain this afternoon. We're going to talk about all of that and the rest of the week coming up. Good morning and welcome to the KTLA Weekend Morning News at 9 o'clock. I'm Lauren Lister. And I'm Doug Kolk. Uh, we're following developing news this morning. It's out of La Mirada. Bullets fly overnight outside a popular bar, and one person shot several times. This took place around 1245 this morning outside the Vault Cocktail Bar on Imperial Highway. After arriving on scene, L.A. County Sheriff deputies located the adult victim who was rushed to a local hospital in stable condition. The suspect fled the scene and remains on the loose at this point. The motive behind the shooting is currently under investigation. In Moreno Valley, at least one person is dead after multiple people overdosed inside a residence in Moreno Valley. Deputies arrived at the scene just after 730 last night. It was on Elise Cove near Eucalyptus Avenue. They found multiple people unresponsive and three were sent to the hospital in unknown conditions. Deputies haven't released any information about the victims or what type of substance was used. The investigation is ongoing. In the meantime, 18 suspects are now behind bars, busted in a string of organized retail thefts across Los Angeles County. Their ages range from age 15 to 20 years old. The LAPD says suspects stole around $23,000 worth of clothing and merchandise over two days in at least four different department stores. All stolen items have been recovered. Police believe the group were involved in 14 other robberies that resulted in nearly $100,000 stolen in merchandise. A young porch pirate caught on camera stealing packages from two separate homes and he's helped by someone in different cars each time. Take a look at this. So these videos were taken Thursday afternoon in the Oak Park area of Ventura County. The suspect waits until delivery drivers drop off the packages, then runs up and snatches them before taking them to an adult waiting in a getaway car. One of the homeowners says the package was just nail polish, but added that it's disgraceful. Thefts like these are happening in our communities. If you recognize the cars or the child in the videos. You're asked to call police. So if you're looking for a job in politics, well, listen up. Mayor-elect Karen Bass is looking for people to join her administration when she takes office. So Bass launched an online hiring portal this weekend in hopes of finding qualified people to help her lead Los Angeles. She says she only needs a team effort and will move the city in a new direction and bring urgent solutions to the issues facing Angelinos. The portal is open to candidates from Los Angeles and across the, uh, the, across the country. rather. There are full-time uh, volunteer positions and uh, full-time positions available bass will officially take office december 12th all right ready set give here's your chance to help neighbors facing food insecurity this holiday season and have some fun at the same time ktla partnering with the la food bank for a holiday food drive this morning at la live and our whole five live crew is representing that includes ktla's andy reesmeyer can't andy uh-oh what have we got here Oh, he's done it. Robert. He has done it. Meeting. He got the quick lesson. This is this is this is monumental. This is the most remarkable <laughs> thing you've ever seen. This is just this is just proof that dreams really do come true. Because Mr. Robert Puente, the man who'd never been on skates before in his life, is now whoa, 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 is now being taught by LA King's legend, radio analyst, and Mr. King himself, Daryl Evans. The man who came here in a crushed velvet suit and not only is he here to teach him we've also been joined by the one and only hey guys. 
Right. Samantha Cortese is finally here. I just showed up. I don't have my IFB, so I will trust you will leave this live shot. Yes. But I'm so I just walked up. I'm so happy to be here. So exciting. Yeah, it's really cool. So I we're going to be here. Right it, it's amazing. He had never skated before. You know that? And so we put him Bobby. throughout the whole morning. We have been watching Robert's <laughs> unbelievable uh, um, transformation from, awesome. a, from a shooby to uh, Wayne Gretzky. This is amazing. Pizza, french fry. Oh, you got to take this one? Oh, okay. Well, thanks for having me. So excited to finally be here. <laughs> and uh, I've been watching you guys all morning while driving and getting ready. So very excited to meet the community at our Five Live Food Drive. Yes. And for, well, I, okay, so we're done with the free skate, but you can still come down. You can still say hello to us. You can still say hello to Samantha. <laughs> I've got two microphones. I feel like a total <laughs> goofy guy. Um, I'll take it. You want that one? Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, but yeah, so obviously food insecurity is a big problem. 25% of people in Los Angeles last year experienced some form of food insecurity, and the Los Angeles Regional Food Bank wants to fix that. So I'm going to very quickly and I will step out. Step over here with Michael Flood, who is the CEO of the Los Angeles Regional Food Bank. Thanks for having us and, and being partners with us on this really incredible event. How's it going so far? Oh, it's going great. We have a good turnout here. You know, this is the 15th year we partnered with KTLA on a, a food drive. So this year is new, partnering with AEG and the LA Kings, and uh, it's going well. So we're really happy. That's amazing. 15 years, just when Robert was born. Um, are you going to get out there and skate? Uh, we'll see. It's been a while since I skated, so uh, I probably have to warm up a little bit before I get out there. But we are very uh, good at, at what you guys do, though. You have like a real incredible track record, uh, high efficiency, something like 96% of all of the donations you, you put to good use. Right, and you know, there's so much food insecurity, nutrition insecurity throughout Los Angeles County. That's our focus, to do as much as we can with the resources coming in to help as many families and people out, out throughout the communities. So for instance, if people come and they bring a $25 donation, if they, if they don't want to bring a soup or a non-perishable item, that goes to feed 100 people. Right, the ratio is for every dollar, it's four meals because we're relying on donated food and it's the operating costs of getting this food in and out. So there's a great leveraging there, especially with the volunteer program too. And I was reading that since the pandemic, you guys have actually helped an insane amount of people and, and delivered so many meals and, and really kept a lot of people fed. It is, it's in the hundreds of millions. And you know, when the pandemic hit, we were reaching more than a million residents of LA County uh, during that 2020 peak time. And even today, it's still about 800,000 residents of LA County receiving food assistance from uh, our partner agencies that, again, are located throughout Los Angeles County, helping families and people. Well, Michael, thank you so much for doing that. You can also be part of the, oh, here she goes. Samantha getting on the ring. Wow, that's some good television here today. Uh, you can come down and also be a part of this. Free skate is over, but you can still bring yourself, if you'd like, uh, some food to donate, or you can donate some money, or you just come down and say hello to everybody. You can check out the info on your screen there. There's a QR code you can scan, figure out the information uh, right in front of you. You can scan that QR code and, uh, and come on down and say hello to us. We'll be here all morning. And we've got Samantha, we've got Robert, we've got Bobby, we've got Bailey, we've got the rest of the KTLA community team and a whole bunch of wonderful people out here just doing something nice for the holidays. We're going to send it back to you oh in God, Hollywood. Andy, I thought Sam would be like a, a really good skater. And That's I'm what I, I expected I, it too. I, I expected a triple axel or something. You, you didn't, so elegant. Yeah. You didn't tell us this was her first time on skates. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. You know, thank God that she's not on IFB right now because she would just be crushed if she heard any of that. And but, Andy, tell her look, don't you know, hold honestly, on to Robert. Sometimes the blind leads the blind. Yeah, but yeah. Robert's not the one to hold on for okay. stability. I'll tell her. <laughs> no, no. Look at Bobby's a, a whole train here with Bailey. They're doing a conga line or something. <laughs> yeah, this is oh. good. I love oh how Robert gosh. really got the memo to wear blue for KTLA. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, Robert. Look at him. Uh, oh my god. There's my son. <laughs> uh, oh wow, there is Look something happening. <laughs> Just out Look there. At that side god step. love him. Oh, All right. This is oh, a new man. Curve. I haven't seen that one before. My face hurts a little bit from that. Casey, oh. can I tell you one more thing? This is another example of we have the same brain. The things that I think are what come out, out of my mouth. mouth. I know. <laughs> Literally, it's kind of scary though. It's weird. It, it, that's how the dynamic works. Yeah, it well, really like is. I was gonna say the exact same thing about Sam that she said, and then but she said it. And yesterday like, oh we gosh. both said that the pilk tasted like was like a root beer float. 
pot ice cream, yeah. I'm telling you, wow. we share a brain. She's got more of it than I do. No, that is false. Got that like 75, false. I got nope, 25. Nope. Um, all right, outside we go. Look, still foggy along the coast, and it will be for the next several hours. And then the chance of showers moves in. We'll leave a chance in the forecast for the rest of the afternoon. But again, not all of us will see that shower activity. As far as temperatures go, downtown yesterday, we were just a couple degrees above average, and we probably won't even be that warm today. Temperatures for all of us will be cooler today. It's 58 in Long Beach, 57 degrees in Palmdale right now, 54 in Riverside, and 36 in Big Bear. The Max Doppler over the last hour, not showing much shower activity in our viewing area just yet. But as you can see from this future cast, we do expect to start seeing some of the shower activity over the next couple of hours. Just because we see green on here again does not mean that we are seeing